On Wednesday, the German prosecutor's office filed a complaint against a former Nazi soldier for denying the Holocaust and insulting statements on television about victims of Nazism, reports the local report. In an interview with ARD last November, Munter said that, according to the local, victims in a French village are responsible only for their own deaths. Munner is therefore responsible for inciting and humiliating the victims of national socialism. Monsieur Munter was sentenced to death in 1949 by a French military court for his own role in the massacres, but was later pardoned in 1955 to restore relations between France and Germany. During the Second World War, Munter was a member of the SS's Hitler Youth Department and was involved in the murder of 86 people in a village in northern France. Fox News reported, although the prosecutor did not appoint an accused, he is considered a former Nazi soldier. Carl Mnter, 96. Since then, prosecutors had tried to find a reason to convict the former Nazi soldier, but had been unable to do so because of his double conviction. Stephen is editor of the Western Journal and has written dozens of articles for the Western Journal and the Conservative Tribune. Stephen is the editor of the Western Journal and has written hundreds of articles for the Western Journal and the Conservative Tribune. He may be sentenced to five years imprisonment for incitement and two years imprisonment for insulting the memory of victims of National Socialism. Monsieur the defendant does not deny that he provided information to journalists, but he said that he did not know that the interview was being recorded and would be broadcast later. The prosecutor's statement said, Munter, 21 men and other troops killed 86 men in retaliation in the nearby village of ASKK. On the night of April 1, 1944, after the explosion, a train from Nova Scotia consisting of about 50 soldiers blew up. Munter was later convicted, but later forgiven for his own role in the murders. However, recent statements may give prosecutors exactly what they need to finally convict a 96-year-old war. Criminal, Stephen was born in Louisiana, but moved to a remote desert, often called Arizona.